Iran's religious leaders recently trimmed the number of people that would be permitted to run in the country's upcoming presidential elections down to a slate of eight candidates. But two men are suspects in the bombing of the AMIA Jewish Center in Buenos Aires. Interpol lists Ali Akbar Velayati as a possible co-planner in the bloody 1994 attack. He is a long-service diplomat with intimately close ties to Iran's conservative leadership. He is one of the oldest figures still in the running and is part of a principalist coalition containing two other figures. He is one of the front runners, but perhaps his age may count against him, although he is seen as a safe pair of hands by the supreme leader. The second candidate linked with the Argentina bombing is Mohsen Rezaei. He was a top commander of Iran's Revolutionary Guards and a senior general in the country's war against Iraq in the 1980s. He now specializes in economic issues and is under an international arrest warrant. Mohsen Rezaei is the only candidate who featured strongly in the previous 2009 presidential elections. Uh, he did initially challenge the, uh, the results there, but after coming under some pressure from the Supreme Leader, acceded to Ahmadinejad's eventual victory. Uh, he is the former commander of the Revolutionary Guards and again is a strong establishment figure. However, his chances are perhaps not as strong as Jalili's or Velayati's. Iran's top nuclear negotiator, Saeed Jalili, is considered another front runner. Iran's leadership earlier this week banned two candidates from running, one of them former president and relative liberal Akbar Rafsanjani. The current president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, has said he will challenge the ban. The Buenos Aires bombing killed 85 and injured 300 and was Argentina's worst ever terrorist attack. Hezbollah operatives are thought to have placed the bombs. Interpol has named six other Iranians as possible co-conspirators in the bombing, including Defense Minister General Ahmad Vahidi.